Today we are making an advanced reporting system in Roblox Studio. So how this is going to work, on screen right now you will see that I am reporting someone. I'm reporting myself. Then when I click submit and I confirm that I want to report them, I get a Discord message saying that someone got reported and a game ID where I can join them. And then as you can see right here, I am, rep uh, I am joining them in Roblox so I can help them out in the real game. So if you want to know, how you can make this system, make sure that you watch this video all of the way to the end to find out exactly how to. Hey guys, and welcome back to this brand new tutorial on my YouTube channel. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can make your own advanced reporting system in Roblox Studio. So how is this going to work? First of all, a player can join the game and report someone for, I don't know, swearing or some, something else. Anything you want, they can report you for. Then, the game, Roblox, will send a, a message to Discord saying, Hey, someone got reported. Here's the name, here's the reason, here's their, how, how old their account is. And a game ID, a custom ID, which identifies the server. Then, a moderator can join the game. And then what can the moderator do? They can open the panel and they can put the, uh, the put that game ID in and then join your exact server. So it is basically reporting someone and getting uh, immediate assistance. It is really cool. Before I start, I do want to give a shout out to Tiger Blocks for helping me out so much. We spent like over probably like two or three hours on this, fixing every single bug we could find. And now it works. So thank you so much, Tiger Blocks. Uh, I'll put your links in the description or something. Anyways. That is what I wanted to say, so if you're new to my channel and you like this video, make sure to give this video a like if you like it. And if you don't like it, please drop a dislike on this video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on the notification bell, become a member, do anything you want to support me. I appreciate anything. Uh, and without further ado, let's hop right into the tutorial. So newbie, what do I do? First of all, you are going to the link in the description. So go to the link in the description right now, and then you will see a model. Just get the model. Then come back to studio, click on toolbox, click on the four blocks over here, and click on uh, the report system. So uh, two scripts, just click OK. And now this is your little system over here. So now you have to put them in uh, what they're told. So webhook goes into uh, replicated storage, service cup service, service cup service. Oh, I mean server. Uh, these two go into server storage, and start your GUI goes into start your GUI. You will immediately see this GUI. You don't really have to do anything with it. You could just disable the frame. Doesn't really matter, as long as you, um, you know, as long as you just have it. Uh, because in the code, we will just automatically set everything. So you can just leave it on or off. Doesn't matter. Now you can just delete these folders. And now here comes the tricky part. Now you want to go to your Discord server. And if you don't have one, just create one. Then go to one of your channels you have. And then right click on edit channel. Then go to integrations. And then go to webhooks. And then just press new webhook. And then uh, get that little webhook thingy. Uh, click copy webhook URL. And then go to the link in the description. It is called hooks.hira.io. Uh, so just click on that and then go to the bottom and paste the link in and then get that hooks.hira link. So do that right now and then uh, it will be much better if you do so or else you're probably getting banned. Uh, because Roblox, I mean Discord does not like uh, getting requests from Roblox. So we kind of like wrap it in an anonymous thingy so that Roblox uh, and Discord just accept it. So that's what we just did. So let's see, copy webhook URL. Okay. Now, what we can do, we can start, um, we can almost start. You want to go to game settings, you want to go to security, you want to enable HTTP, studio API services, and third party teleports, and then click save. This is all you want to do, and now we can code this. So keep up, it's a long script, so just keep up and um, jo join my Discord if you need help. So let's get coding.
So that right there was all of the coding for this tutorial and now we have entered the recap section so I am briefly going to explain to you what the code does. So in the server we are doing a lot of variables, just variables. We are making a table, an admins table. We are checking when you join that if your name is in the admins table and if it is we will give you your join server buttons. A code map table and we are loading it up with all values. This is just for saving data. Uh, when you join the game, we will make a server code so that it is it, it identifies the server. And we are putting that everywhere. We are initializing it. Function join server. So what this does, it will just teleport you to the, to the place with the code and it's going to teleport you. Uh, if it's send webhook, then all we have to do is just send the webhook uh, to Discord and then over here, if player an argument is equals equals to mod join server, so if a moderator wants to join the server, then uh, we are just getting the data again and we are loading it up in your join server. When you leave the game, we are destroying all databases because we need uh, we only need true values. All right, this th this thing fixed itself. Nice. Anyways. Uh, report module, this is a lot of stuff. So as you can see, this is all code. It's barely, I, I can barely explain it. Um, so we have a content, so it's going to say new report. We have, uh, we, we're making an embed with the author, description, color, fields with the reported user, reason, account age, game ID, the footer, uh, and it's developed by, well, let's do it, developed by newbie yt, b calls, why not, x d d d d d why not? Then we are posting this to Roblox. And then Roblox will take care of the rest. The client basically just handles every single thing uh, in terms of what you see. So as you can see, trigger, we are loading up the player list. When you click away, we are making sure everything gets reset. Uh, when you send a report, we are making sure you have to confirm it. When you confirm it, we are sending it and then just tweening every single thing away. And then uh, if, you, if you put in an ID and you send this ID to Roblox, uh, well, in the, and you click on join, then the game will join you. If you're an admin, you will get the join server thingies. That is basically the entire system. It is a really big system, actually. So we are going to test this out right now. So let's do it. Before we test, make sure that if you go into report module, uh, let me just find it. It is uh, over here. Yep. So instead of um, oh yes, you just uh, remove these uh, stars over here. Just keep it like that. Press exit. Now let's play this. We are not testing the join mechanic yet, but we are going to test the report mechanic. That's what we're going to report uh, test right now. So let me just start. Come on, studio. Okay, play. I hope Roblox Studio works. Because sometimes it just doesn't. Okay. We're in the game right now. And you'll see this beautiful report button. So why not? And let's press it. Three, two, one. And as you can see, it spins. It spins really well. Everything tweens in. And because I'm an admin, I get the server ID join. So if we remove myself from that server ID table. So let me just do that right now. I'm just going to blank myself out like that. I'm going to press play again. You will see that I do not have it. Because I am not an admin. I cannot join servers because I am not an admin in the game. So let's click report. And as you can see, I don't have it anymore. I can report myself. I am making a tutorial right now. Uh, right now. And my community is the best best community ever. Okay, so let's send this. 3, 2, 1, send. Are you sure you want to send this? Yes. Boom. Success. It tweens away. And on, on the screen, you'll see a, a screenshot saying uh, that I actually got the report uh, on my Discord server. So that is uh, kind of the, the actual system. So let's do it again. Yes. And then I'm going to report myself. I'm going to click send. Yep, I'm sure. And we and I just made another report. And as you can see, the game ID did change from the previous one, which I tested uh, off video. So if I would click stop and pl uh, click play again. So let me just do that. Then, if I click report, and I just send my, uh, whatever, and I just send another report, as you can see, the game ID just changed. It is now 400,000 something. 
and the last time it was 200,000 something. So that is a little bit how the system works. So now I'm going to try to get a friend to see if we can uh, get this system uh, to work when we are both in a game. So let's try that out right now. So right now I am in a game with myself and uh, you might be wondering newbie why with yourself it's because one of my friends uh, none of my friends are available at the moment but I'm going to show you a trick that will make it work and I can guarantee you that if you, if you get this certain message when we uh, do this you it will work and I will also show a video of it actually working so as you can see I opened my panel and I'm going to report myself for 12 I'm going to send this report to my Discord, and let me just get the game ID from there. So let me just go to my testing channel. The game ID is 5... Okay, let me just do this. 5, 4, 9, and 1, 3, 3. So this is my game ID. And if I click join, 3, 2, 1, boom. Screen goes black. It is now going to teleport me. And it's still black, still black, still black. There we go. I am joining. And joining place number 425. Let's go. And right now I am loading into Roblox and my internet is a little bit bad. Let's give it time. And boom. Please try what? I, I can't read the message. I think it's like please check your internet connection. But do not fear, we are gonna try this uh, a little bit again. So now we're gonna try this again, and I am sure it's gonna work right now. So let me just join server. Let me just quickly do this. Yes. Player list, send me the ID. Oh, it's actually a similar ID. Pretty good. So this is the ID. 3, 2, 1, join. And screen goes black. Boom. We are now loading into Roblox. If it says, like, please check your internet connection again, it, that means it works. As you can see, I joined the game. And if you get this message when you join the game, when you're solo testing this, that means that it works. But, newbie, why does this happen? This is because we are trying to join a server. Because what we're doing, we are leaving the server, and we're the only one. So the server gets destroyed. But we're trying to get back into the server. Roblox doesn't know what to do. They just kick you. So if you get this message, that means that it works. So this is basically the tutorial. If you do in fact enjoy this tutorial, make sure to leave this video a like if you like it. Like this video if you like it. And if you don't like it, please drop a dislike on the video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Turn on the notification bell. Make sure you subscribe and do anything you want. And all I can say is that my name is Newbie. And I say, peace out.